Welcome back, friends. This is MetaTrader 4 Tour Part 2. Uh, I'm Rob Booker. Welcome. Glad you're here. I don't know if you found this lesson first. That would be weird. But if you did, we're touring MetaTrader 4. Now, in the next lesson right here, we want to look at this top menu bar of everything that, that's available up here. And um, the first set of, of, of buttons are really easy and really interesting. The first five or six of these buttons simply do the same things we looked at when we did the view menu. If I click this uh, first one here, it shows me all of the financial instruments that are available to trade. If I click this one here, it can give me a profile. You could save a whole layout and profile in MetaTrader. I never do this, but you can save a whole profile for yourself with templates and charts and a bunch of other things set up. The next button that has up and down arrows inside of a square is simply going to pop up your market watch box with all of the financial instruments. The next one is going to be the data window that shows you data about the current financial instrument on the chart that you're looking at right now. The next one is going to be the navigator. That's a yellow or gold folder with a star. That's going to show you your accounts, your indicators, your robots, and your scripts. The next one is going to be your terminal window, which we, when we left off, showed the journal and can also show you all of your open and pending trades. The next window is your strategy tester. So if you click on that button at the top, it's going to open up the strategy tester at the bottom. The next button is the new order window. And we're going to have a whole lesson about placing an order in MetaTrader and what all the terminology means. So we'll get to that a little bit later on. I'll close that window for now, but that's one of the ways that you can open a brand new trade. The next button is this right here, which I have no idea what that is. Oh, that's the meta edit. I haven't used that in a long time. By clicking that button, it goes into the programming interface for MetaTrader, where you can actually program your own indicators or look at the code for indicators and stuff that's inside of MetaTrader. If you're a programmer, you might use that meta editor button on a regular basis. The next button is the auto trading button. Right now it's green at the top of my screen, but if I click it again, it will turn red. Green means it, the MetaTrader installation can place automated trades and trade with a robot. When it's red, it means all of that's turned off universally inside of the entire account. It's a master on and off switch for allowing automated trading. The next buttons are the types of bars or candles that you can show on your chart. If I click the first one, I'm going to show bars, price bars. If I show the next one, I'm going to show candles. If I click the next one, I'm going to show a line chart, which turns price into a line moving up and down across the screen. I like to use candles. That's my favorite. The next buttons over are a plus sign and a minus sign inside of a magnifying glass. This makes your candles bigger or smaller. As a side note, you can also change the size or the um, height of candles by clicking in the right hand menu, holding your mouse button down, and then moving up or down. And you can also make them wider and smaller or zoom in and out by clicking in the, the date range below, holding your mouse button, and scrolling your mouse backwards and forwards. The next button is the Tile Your Windows button. And what this will do is it will tile the windows in an organized fashion so you can see all of the current charts that are open all at once inside of your MetaTrader installation. Now the next two buttons are really kind of weird. There's, a, there's an arrow forward and there's an arrow backward. If I open up this chart right here, if I unpress both of these buttons and they are up or off, I can scroll back as far as I want to go by pressing and holding on the chart and scrolling back in time. If these buttons are pressed, they are going to move the chart forward to the latest period of time. And if I try to move back, MetaTrader is going to push the chart back forward in just a moment automatically, and it won't allow me to stay back here. So sometimes you might say, oh man, I want to look at price back a couple of weeks ago. And you'll scroll back like this, and then the chart will suddenly move forward. And you'll go, man, what's happening? You have to uncheck both of these buttons to make sure you can go to where you want to go on the chart in MetaTrader. The next button is 
a list of indicators that are available for your charts. We're going to have a whole set of lessons on indicators, and we don't need to look at that right now. The next chart is going to show you the available time frames for the charts that you're looking at, one minute, five minutes, and so on. You click on one of those, and it changes the time frame chart to whatever time frame you chose. The next one is the template button. This button allows you to save the current chart layout as a template. If I click Save Template, the current chart right here with all of its indicators, robots, colors, everything that I like can be saved as a template file so that the next time I open a brand new chart, I've got everything exactly the way that I like it. On the next row down, we have an arrow, which we use for simply pointing. Nothing special about that. Next, we have the crosshairs. And if we move the crosshairs around, we can actually see a current price on the chart. We can measure price from one location to another and see how many pips and distance it is. I never really use the crosshairs very often. The next, the next button is a vertical line tool that allows us to place a vertical line on our chart. The next tool is a horizontal line tool that allows us to draw a horizontal line on our chart. The next tool is a trend line that allows us to draw a trend line across the tops or across the bottoms or anywhere on the chart that we like. The next tool is a channel tool, I believe, and it allows us to draw a symmetrical channel on our chart. And it's very faded and blue, but it draws an exactly symmetrical channel on our charts the next tool is the Fibonacci retracement tool. We can draw from high to low. Lots of people like Fibonacci, so it allows us to do that. The next tool is a ABC or text drawing tool. If I want to draw some text on the screen and leave it right there on the screen, I can type in some text and make an annotation. Uh, the next button is a T. It's a label. So I can label something on the chart, and it will stay right where it was and label one specific object and stay with it. The next button looks like an arrow up and an arrow down with a check mark in it. And it allows me to put symbols or other cool stuff on the chart. So I could put a thumbs up somewhere on the chart if I want. I never use those weird emojis or anything else. The next set of uh, items are simply the changing of the time frames, daily, 4 hour, 1 hour, 30 minute, 15 minute, and so on. By clicking on those time frames, you can switch back and forth. All right, when we come back, what I'd like to do is walk through the rest of the items on the menu at the very top of the screen, File, Insert, Charts, Tools, Window, and Help, when we come back. However, I want to make a special mention of our sponsor. If you're interested in opening or trading FX, talk to Forest Park FX to open a trading account and get cashback rebates on every trade you place. Go to forestparkfx.com. Forex trading carries significant risk of loss. Terms and conditions will apply. I'm Rob Booker, and I will see you in the next one.